Hello, it's me again. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a QEV or a piston valve. I have already made a video about it, uh, but people complained about the quality of the video and it's not very explicit. So th this video, I'm going to explain everything about you have to know about the QEV. So, this one here, without all these parts, it's a QEV you can buy on eBay for the for ten dollars the cheapest you can get. Inside it you can have three components. You have this one here, which is the yellow part. You have all this. It's a body of the gun, the uh, the QEV, and you have the piston right here. These two wings right here make sure the air can only pass from this sense and not reverse. So once the pilot bought the air from here is ex exhausted, the air from here will push back the piston and the air will start be exhausted from the output board where you put your barrel. So in this video, I'm going to teach you two ways to make it. One, we use a half quarter inch T, make a, a smaller version. And I'm also going to teach you how to make a three quarter inch piston valve for launching larger projectiles. So for the half inch QEV, you need a T with three mail boards a little section of pipe. What you need to do is epoxy the pipe right here inside the T. And you can see the edge, okay, right here, that little edge right there. Your pipe must be slightly longer than that. Or rather than that, if not, the piston will not set on the pipe like this, but set on the edge and will not seal the valve. So you use a pipe, center it, and use epoxy to fill all this part, make sure it cured properly, so it can handle very high pressure. Above five, 500C, it's two meters okay. You can see the pipe inside. A little taller than the edge. As for the piston, there are several ways to do it. Uh, right now I use my drill press and use um, nylon to make the piston. So you don't need, really need a um, sealing surface like um, a rubber, for example. This one also works, this one has a ring around it to seal, which means uh, it's not able to make semi-auto. You only can take one shot, but uh, the pilot valve can be very very small, like a, a Schrinder valve. As for this, it's possible to modify it to um, semi-auto or full automatic. The O-ring works like these little rings to make sure the air only passes from the pilot port or also the fuel port to the chamber. This one around here allows you to fuel from the chamber side. But you will need a bigger pilot valve. The flow from the pilot valve need to be bigger than the flow of the air from the chamber to the pilot port. If not, the piston will remain shut with all the air coming out from the pilot port. So you have this, you have the piston. So set. We have the piston, we have the T with the pipe inside it. The size of the pipe should, well, it depends on your like and the amplifica uh, amplifications. Like this one is for BBs, so it's six millimeter output. And uh, also, I prefer this board to be female. This one is bigger, but you have to consider the flow coefficient. Uh, as you can see, the space between the T and the pipe is smaller. So there is a 
a balance between these two areas from the output and the flow inside it. Too big or too small will both decrease the performance. Okay, so you have the T. You put in the piston and you need a pylon valve. You have two options. Homemade one. And this one I have a video about it. It's basically a rubber washer with a nail and a spring. You push it and you release the air. It can be modifi modified for with um, a little hammer here for semi or for auto. Also, you can take a female one uh, half inch to three. Uh, I don't remember the size. I think is. 3-8 inch now this is a 3-8 inch to 1 quarter inch adapter you put them together and this piece will have a place to side let the spring set put it inside and close it You're done. Now use a little stick to see if the spring will set or not. You can see. It means it's working. Now we are done with the half inch and the one quarter inch pilot side QEV. And here you just need to add a blowgun, which in this case the piston isn't uh, completely sealing the orifice right here. So it can be filled from the chamber board. You only need to add a blowgun as a pilot valve right here. Now we talk about the piston valve, three quarter inch. You need three quarter inch T adapter from male, three quarter inch, and inside female, uh, half inch. Now this piece, you need to buy a good quality one. Some of them, the inside threading and outside isn't perfectly linear. Pick some good money for it, make sure it's good quality made. You need half inch nipple. Also make sure it's good quality. Make sure this part is completely perpendicular to the threading. So you thread you put this right here in front of the inside, not outside. Right here, like this. And you have created this part of the QEV, with this side a uh, piston valve. Without being this part, you can also use a 3 quarter inch nipple, which have a huge output, make, make it a uh, great airflow coming out. But I had some problem by threading this with the Teflon tape inside it, had some sealing problems. So personally, I'm going to keep using this. Have this part and this part make sure it's sealed. Put it in one side of the three quarter inch tip. And make sure this goes to the end. Check out where this thing ends. Around here. Great. Now another piece. A male male connector. This one also needs to be very good quality. Actually the one of the most important part of the valve. Make sure the inside is completely smooth and the same diameter, I mean a perfect tube inside it. Well, this is a piston housing. For the piston, you also have several options. You can fill it with hot glue, as some tutorials on the YouTube showed. Uh, also, it can be made of epoxy, which is way better than hot glue. The hot glue, after some use with the uh, oils, it sucks and uh, gets stuck inside. Personally, I use this. It's a washer piston right here. This is a sealing face, and this part is where it's going to slide inside the piston. You can make it with the O-ring, which makes only able to be filled from the pilot board, fuel board. Make uh, the it has slightly better performance as the pilot volume is smaller, but I prefer just like this, so I can feel from the chamber side. 
The difference is actually quite small if you can make the piston a perfect size. This piston is actually very easy to make. It's just a bolt and uh, some metal washers and rubber. And this rubber piece needed to seal inside this tube. You don't have to find one with exactly the same size. You get you can get one slightly smaller than the inside diameter, and then by tighten this bolt, these two wishers will squeeze this rubber piece, and you keep tightening until the rubber piece slides perfectly smooth inside the con uh, the connector, but without being too tough. You shouldn't see much light. See only small pieces of light coming out. Now we just connect this part here. Now put in the piston. Make sure it seals on the board. Yes, it seals right there. Now you need something for the piston side. You can put a spring here, but uh, personally, I have <laughs> never saw a semi-automatic of this side. You don't need it's a canyon, so just one shot is enough. You need this part. It's three quarter inch and half inch here, and around here, I advise you to put something like a piece of sponge or rubber washer to make a bouncer for the piston as. During high pressures, when you open the pipe valve, this piston actually acts like a, a projectile. It's pushed back to the to this part. It actually gets quite a lot of stress. But as it's made made of metal, it's um, okay. But some PVC canyons have had some accident by this this part breaking out because the piston bouncing. You just close it up. And you're done. You see a piston right here. And open. And push it. And close. Now a little bonus video about uh, the awesome things you can do with the uh, QEV. This is a full automatic. If I had a bigger receiver, this will be a continuous automatic action. As I can keep the trigger, it will keep firing. I let the air store a little bit and Here is also a custom made valve well, that gets open when the pressure reach, reaches a certain point. I will later make a tutorial about it. Thanks for watching.